the clumsy angel and the new king, the 24th piece of God's purple puzzle tree. Years and years went by, but the new king didn't come to solve the purple puzzle and rule the world for God. Then one quiet, shining night in the golden living room of heaven, all the angels gathered. Among those tall red angels was Gabriel the Great, who always had his little horn and simply couldn't wait to blow it every morn. Among those tall red angels was Michael with his sword. He had to fight for God sometimes because he was so strong. And among those tall red angels, one clumsy angel sat far away in a corner, curled up like a cat. Shall we call him Little Jack Horner? What do you think of that? Now that clumsy little angel who wasn't very shiny always stayed at home. He had to clean the stables of the horses in the sky that angels rode across the earth very, very high. Then God came into the living room where all the angels sat, and God was very bright. He sat in a shiny purple chair covered with candlelight. Then one by one, the angels fell down upon their knees. Everyone was buzzing, waiting for a message to fly across the seas. This job takes everyone. You and you and you and Jack, the clumsy angel too. Can you imagine the wild surprise of all those tall red angels? They knew quite well whenever a baby was due, God would send one angel. Or maybe even two if one day twins are born. And that can happen too. But why send clumsy Jack? Now listen, Michael, said God. You are the first to go. You have to meet a good man, a carpenter called Joseph, and say to him, Don't fear, the young girl whom you love will soon have a baby sent from heaven above. You may have to fight old Satan somewhere on the way, for he whispered to that good man to try and run away. Are you listening, Gabriel? Your job is very special. You have to tell that young girl whose name is Gentle Mary. God himself is giving you a very special baby. Even Clumsy Jack, you must leave the sky and learn to fly down to the earth to see the birth of this special little boy. You know the ways of animals, and you've lived inside a stable. You have the biggest job of all. Are you ready, willing, and able? When Mary rides her tired donkey to the little town of Bethlehem, you must fly beside him and never let him fall. When they reach that town, you must find a stable and lead the donkey there. Make sure the stable doesn't have any wild beast. Then make the stable ready for a very special guest. Jack, the clumsy angel, jumped and jumped for joy. At last, he had a chance to watch the birth of a boy in a very small stable instead of in a house with many, many toys. And all the other angels, said God, who was laughing for joy, must fill the sky that night and sing to all the countryside to make the heavens bright. At last, the angels asked the most important question of all. Who is this baby going to be? And why is he so special that all of us must go to earth instead of one or two or three? This boy, said God, is my very own son. I will mold my boy deep in his mother Mary, just as I molded Adam from fresh red clay. My son will rule the world for me as Adam had to do. My son will solve the purple puzzle, which Adam couldn't do. My son will be the new king that all the prophets promised for waiting people everywhere. Jack, will you open the door? And all the angels began to praise. And that's the way it happened when Jesus Christ was born. Well, isn't it? Jack, 
The clumsy angel hid beneath the manger to keep both Mary and Jesus safe from any danger, right? If you ever see Jack, don't be afraid at all, for he can tell you all about King Jesus in his stall. But maybe Jack has a different name. Would that matter at all? You can find the true story of the angels coming to Joseph and Mary to announce the birth of Jesus in the Bible under the book of Luke, chapter 1. I do hope you will go check that out. Get into your Bible, boys and girls. Read, 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 and believe, believe, believe. Come back for more of the retellings from the Purple Puzzle Tree. Thanks for watching.